Hello everyone. Um, <laughs> do I have an intro for this video? Um, let's try that again. Ooh. <laughs> Hello everyone. I don't know how to stop. <laughs> Hello everyone. Here I am. New setup. New year. New me. New setup. New ye. I today. I know a lot of people in a new year are looking forward to the future and also it's a big time of reflection looking past looking looking past looking to the past and recently i've been feeling like i want to revisit some nostalgia from my childhood a bit of context i grew up living in an area in a house in a place with no wi-fi but my mom is the local librarian of my small town so as a child, I often had to spend like four hour blocks at the library, which when you're like six years old feels like a very long time. Um, especially if you don't read. Cut to the part of my fictional world withdrawal video when I talked about not reading or wanting to watch TV. I have a confession. I don't really like to read or watch TV. By the way, you should go click on that video. Uh, go go watch that video. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, I would just spend the entire time that I had the internet playing browser games. Free online games that you could just find in your browser. And I want to try to revisit some of those games today. And I figured I could take you along with me. So. Let's get started. This was such a bad intro. <laughs> um, let's just do this. Okay. So the first one that I want to start off with is probably pretty obvious to most people. I think Webkins was largely influential to... Can the fan turn off, please? Webkins was something that was influential to an entire generation, honestly. Does anybody else feel that way? I feel that way. And I still remember my username and password, so let's see. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wow. So I know my username was snowypoodle5. I think I actually made this account when I was five years old. I, well, no, that, that doesn't seem right. I don't think, I know, mm. <laughs> I don't know how old I was when I made this account, but I do know my password. I don't know how I remember it. Let's see. <gasps> Are you fucking kidding me? Maybe it was a capital Snowy Poodle 5? No! <laughs> no! Oh my god, I know this is correct. <laughs> okay, let's see if that... Oh my god. Oh, it was just change password. It wasn't forgot password. Oh, am I gonna have to send this to my mom? <laughs> we'll come back to this. Another hugely influential one for me was Bella Sarah. I went through... <laughs> a horse girl phase. <laughs> I wish it wasn't true, but it is. So without addressing that too much, let's just try to see what happens here. I should really have done this entire thing on incognito mode. Oh no, there's no, there's no game anymore. Did they delete the game? I feel like there's probably some weird rule 34 horse art on here. Or not on here. That would be weird. <laughs> I, yeah, I just need to not speak. I think it's gone. Is this video just going to be me discovering that all of this shit is gone? Now I'm on the Bella Sarah wiki fandom. This is not where I thought I would be today. I'm going to abandon that one too. Third time's the charm. Vantage. It shut down? No! They're all gone. It shut down after 10 years. This is so tragic. Welp. <laughs> I've got a couple more ideas. Big Farm. I spent two hours of my life 
making corn on this game with my friend Althea. All we did for two hours was make corn. I remember the theme music of this game. I like that of, <laughs> oh, I remember everything. Of the games that I played as a child, the one that survived is Big Farm. <laughs> Oh man. I don't think I have my login info for this, but I'll just make a new account, I guess, and just kind of give you a show around. Let's call me, um, nice. Oh my God, your first farm. Hello, Maya, yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to your new farm. I heard farmer George wasn't too keen to hand it over. Well, <laughs> I'm your neighbor, Tess Townsend. I'll help you get an overview for a start. George didn't even manage to harvest the corn in the end. You can start with that right now. I like how she's just constantly having a cute little, cute little straw hanging out of her mouth. Click on the fields with the right corn. Great, oh my God, I told you, corn. This brings up a lot for me because I have a really weird relationship with corn. So wildflower seeds. You need a mill to process the corn you've harvested. Simply click on build in the mint, in the, in the main, in the mill menu. Woo! Uh, see, isn't this just so much fun? When is she gonna leave me alone? The weirdest thing about me playing this game was that I live in a town where this is literally everything around me. What? Come on. Why am I stuck forever in this void where I'm clicking, I'm clicking. I can't click on the mark at all? Why am I stuck forever in this void where I would like to tell you what I think? I, 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 I I'm sorry, what? It doesn't want me to click on the mark at all. I don't know why. If I use my other mouse, can I hit escape? Why let me out? Let, let, let me out. I have a really weird relationship with corn. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, I don't want to do the tutorial. Okay, let's see. Oh my god, I'm level two. That's fun. Can I? Okay, yeah. Let's turn the game music on. Oh my god. They changed the music since I last played this game. It used to go, it used to go, um... It used to go do 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 <gasps> wow, <laughs> okay. Was that my worker paying me? Oh, I shouldn't let my field lay fallow. Let's make some corn just for the meme of it. I don't like corn. I also made a corn pun in a group chat on Tumblr that was called corn and then I got kicked out of the corn group chat. I made corn for two hours on this game. I just have a lot of like corn related incidents in my life and I try to avoid corn to, but it just keeps showing up for me and I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know what to do about it. Oh, interesting. They want so much. Why do you need 54 cabbages for a youth hostel? What even is, what is a youth hostel? For a kindergarten, they need 75 cabbages for a kindergarten and 95 rutabagas? I mean, these are some demanding six-year-olds. Ah, oh, I was wait, waiting to meet you. Ah, um, <clears throat> I was waiting for you. <clears throat> 
So our family thinks he can do a better job with the farm than me. George is too old and confused, they say. Huh, I was doing just fine by myself. Well then, let's see how good you are. Okay. What happened to all my fields? They can't just disappear overnight. Well, you're not going to get far with so few fields. I'll make you a new... I'll, wait, but... I'll help you make a new one. Now, where did I put the shovel? So does he want to help me or no? Farmer George. A fertile field. Um... <laughs> Uh, I'll buy this. Hell yeah. Oh, I got some corn. Nice. Nice. I appreciate the gender and size diversity and the workers on this farm. Oh, how nice. Let's drink a fine glass of beetroot juice to that. I don't know. Farmer George's voice, man, it comes and goes. Level three. Nice. What is that? Big farm on ice? Super hummus? Who doesn't want- wait, no, that's humus. Humus is like a weird compost thing. I know this. I know this because of going to school at a school that taught me about humus. Am I right about that? It's gonna be really embarrassing if I'm wrong about that. Hang on. Oh, I just- Yeah! Humus! How do you say that? Humus. Humus! Hell yeah! I was right. Nice. Buy gold for your farm. Is this one of those things where they make me pay money? Because I hate that. That was my least favorite part. Every time a game like this would make you pay for something, I got so triggered. I was like, that's not the point of this. I don't have money. I'm six. I'm on the computer at the library, public library. I don't have access to a bank account. I don't have a self-sustaining career. <gasps> I can't pay to have gold on my farm. No, no. No, I will not. I think I'm whispering in this video, which is gonna sound really weird. Um, but I don't, I have family home and I don't want them to hear me playing this. Okay, well, well, this is the idea. I just kind of leave that for a hot minute. Maybe come back to it, maybe we won't. I don't know, I was gonna rate these, but also the fact that I can't get into half of them makes me question if I should be rating them. But I would give Big Farm a solid, like, honestly, I'll give it four stars. A four, four, what is, what is my scale? What is, uh, what is my rating scale on this? Four mini Mayas, because the thing is, it's a good farm sim. I mean, I take a star off for making me buy gold because I'm not about that. Yeah, I'd say like four stars. I mean, it's good at what it is, you know? It's just a farm simulator tycoon game. And I think there's a little bit of like the characters, the art is like decent. The characters dialogue is a little bit weird. It's pretty good. I mean, evidently it's stuck around. I give it like most of those stars are just for its staying power. Like the fact that this still exists now is insane to me. Like Vantage, gone. Webkins, I don't know if it's gone or not. Some weird stuff's going on there. bellicera has gone, but Big Farm, Big Farm stuck around. And that surprised me. And that gave it an extra star for me. So yeah, a solid four mini Mayas. That's what I'm uh, scoring this one as. Now, the next one I wanted to visit was, this might be the last one I do, but Another game that I personally was a big fan of was Adventure Quest. Somehow, every time I played this game, I unleashed an army of the undead. And every time I didn't want to do it, and I was like, oh, f like maybe, maybe that was how the game was supposed to happen. Well, this is really weird. I have two accounts. Let's reset the first one which is Angelica6242. My second one is Brie with two E's, 02468. Oh, I look so epic. Take this land in the name of evil. Sepulcher. Sepul Sepulcher. Why does this sound like Christmas music? Never mind, it doesn't sound like Christmas music. <laughs> Charge! This is seeming like like a finale. <gasps> Look at me go! Wait, 
We need our hero with a capital. Now, more than ever, the undead army is attacking all over Oaklore. I told you, the undead army is always there. I'm level three? I'm only level three on this? I thought I was doing so good. Oh, look at me. I look exactly the same. <laughs> and I'm level one. I look exactly the same. I mean, to be fair, this is what I always wanted to look like. So I'm not surprised. <laughs> like, look, I always, oh, I'm fighting myself. Aren't we all fighting ourselves? Okay. What up, gang? Let's see if anybody replies. I was always a rogue. I think that's stuck with me for like my life. I think I've always felt an affinity for the rogue class. What's happening here? This is quick quibble corn coin corn biter. See corn. Why why is it always showing up in my life? Why is corn the thing? <laughs> look at these two ladies. They look so pretty. Look at them. Oh, Valencia, treasure hunter. She's like a pirate. That's sick. I love her purple hair. Cleric Joy. You know, I don't like her as much. I like Valencia a lot more, so I'll take a quest from Valencia. Keep walking to your right through Babylon, and you'll find the steps of the stone column, the Nexus. Frogzards have surrounded it, and now no one can get by. Slay three of the Frogzards to help people pass. Oh, Frogzard. Ugh. There's no skill to this game whatsoever. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm just sitting here watching this happen. Nice. Wait. Why didn't... What? I defeated... I just defeated a frogzard. Is this like Guardians of the Galaxy? Oh no, it's, it's a wolf, I guess. Carl. Nice. Carl! Props to the developers of this game for keeping this going as well, because... You've just been teleported to the exact time and place as you just were. <laughs> That's funny. That has Undertale vibes. I can't even find it though, because I'm a failure. I'm a failed hero. Oh, maybe I had to go this way. Yes, the Nexus! <gasps> I'm such an idiot. I wonder if, as a child, I thought there was a strategy to this game. Because <laughs> there's not. <laughs> I mean, I guess just, like, don't fight things that you can't beat. Nice. Let's just defeat one more. Nice. Go back over here. Was, is she the one that I got the quest from? Yeah. Yeah. I completed it. Turn it in. Okay, the last thing I do want to do here, though, is um, I want to make a new account because obviously I don't have enough. Do you know there were over 17,000 United States online players and eventually, wow, that's not that many. It's interesting, though. As a, When I was really little, I used to be a healer. And then as I got older, I graduated to Rogue. And I feel like that tells you a lot about my personality development. But anyway, I would always go female, rogue, and then let's just see though, if I was a healer, this is what I would look like. That's so much more boring. If I was mage is even more boring and the warrior is the most boring. But then you come here and you're just like, hell yeah, hell yeah. Who doesn't want to be a rogue? Um, let's see what are the boys. <laughs> let's make, let's make, a G Gerard Way version. Like Danger Days era is what I'm thinking. Skin color, that boy. <laughs> Call him boy, he's like literally old enough to be my dad. Yeah, let's just go with that. Eye color, he is part Italian, he has dark eyes. Not that all Italians have to have dark eyes, but Gerard does. Those are some sculpted muscles, my friend. <laughs> Oh, I wish my biceps looked like that. Gerard would be a healer because he's just that kind of person. He's a wholesome lad, you know? He is. Adventure quest, five out of five. I really like it. There's a lot there. There's a lot of quests, a lot of lore that you can explore there. There's customization. You can look really cool. There's like, 
there's just, it's, it's kind of the perfect browser game, in my opinion. There's not too much pressure to like spend money on it if you're an eight year old at the library. I'm gonna give Fantage maybe three mini Mayas. Honestly, I'm like, uh, I spent so much time on Fantage. Fantage was a lot of fun, but it didn't have the staying power. It didn't, the mini games got boring after a while. There weren't that, there wasn't the same depth to Fantage as there was for some of these other games. Although like the graphics were nice, it was cute, it was fun. Um, but anyway, Webkins, honestly, giving it a two. Two, uh, oh, oh, but it was so iconic. Maybe a three, three mini Mayas on Webkins as well. Cause that was really like what started all of this for me. I started getting into Webkins when I was pretty little and it just, later on, they started making you pay for it and that's when I started getting pissed off. But in general, cute concept, the animals were fun. Wow, it really takes you back, doesn't it? It takes you back. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, <laughs> those are, those are my, uh, my childhood games ranked. Here's the tier list. So anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Premium humus, none of that saw brush.